Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one very interesting rational equation challenge. It is x plus 10 whole power 6 over x plus 8 whole cube minus x plus 6 whole power 6 over x plus 8 whole cube equal to 8 cube. We have to find out real solutions only. So let's get started by writing domain. I will demonstrate two methods. So let me write first method number one. Domain of the equation, denominator cannot be 0, x plus 8 can't be 0, x cannot be equal to minus 8. Answer cannot be negative 8. As x cannot be negative 8, so I can multiply both sides with x plus 8 whole cube denominator so that it would be rational free. So now I can cancel these denominators with our multiplier x plus 8 whole cube. What is left? x plus 10 whole power 6 minus x plus 6 whole power 6 equal to 8 cube x plus 8 whole cube. Now let me write the given exponent. See x plus 10 it is. So we can write in this manner x plus 10 whole square. And then we can put over there power 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Similarly, this bracket also we can write x plus 6 whole square and then we can put up cube 2 times 3 is 6 equal to 8 cube times x plus 8 whole cube. In next step, I will use substitution. So let me consider the inner bracket. This whole square a, this whole square b and we will check what will be this x plus 8 or right hand side we can take this 8 into the bracket because power is same so we can write 8x plus 64 whole cube better is to consider this one and then we will calculate this value so let me write here a whole square let's expand a square plus 2ab so 20x plus b square, 100. b, x plus 6 whole square it is. I will be writing x square plus 12x, a plus b whole square formula, plus 36. Now if I will only check a minus b value, see what will come out. Change of sign. So this term will be cancelled out. It would be 8x. 20 minus 12 is 8. 100 minus 36, 64. Conclusion is a straight away simple. Right hand side is a minus b. This bracket only. So what I can write after that? a cube. I will write here a cube minus b cube equal to a minus b whole cube where a is x plus 10 whole square, b is x plus 6 whole square and a minus b is 8x plus 64. Let's solve this cubic equation. a cube minus b cube equal to a minus b whole cube. Let's expand RHS. a minus b whole cube, a cube minus b cube minus 3ab a minus b. Left hand side is a cube minus b cube. So it was not cubic as we can cancel the highest degree term. Okay. Now let's take the term minus 3ab a minus b to the LHS. So it will become 3ab a minus b equal to 0 or a times b times a minus b equal to 0. So from here we can conclude a equal to 0, b equal to 0, a minus b equal to 0. We know the values of a, b and c. a was x plus 10 whole square. b was x plus 6 whole square. c was or a minus b was 8x plus 64. 
let's put so i will write here x plus 10 whole square equal to 0 so from here i will write my answer is x is equal to minus 10 with multiplicity 2 as power is 2 now b equal to 0 x plus 6 whole square equal to 0 so from here i will be writing minus 6 as our solution but with multiplicity 2 now come to 8x plus 64 equal to 0 8x plus 64 equal to 0 x will be equal to minus 64 over 8 so x is minus 8 which is not acceptable as per domain x cannot be minus 8 negative 8 so we will reject this solution so rejected so overall final solutions x is equal to minus 10 with multiplicity 2 and minus 6 with multiplicity 2 there are only four solutions now let us consider method number 2 which is using binomial expansion here i will use substitution and let me consider x plus 8 equal to a and i will consider our equation as x plus 10 whole square whole power 6 minus x plus 6 whole power 6 equal to 8 cube x plus 8 whole cube now let us find out x plus 10 and x plus 6 so if x plus 8 equal to a then x plus 10 will be a plus 2 and x plus 6 will be a minus 2 now i will put these values here let's put so i will write a plus 2 whole power 6 minus a minus 2 whole power 6 equal to 8 cube it is 8 cube and times x plus 8 so i will write a cube now turn off pascal triangle and binomial expansion see power is 6 so from pascal triangle i will be finding out coefficients so 1 to 1 1 3 3 1 1 4 6 4 1 1 5 10 10 5 1 1 6 15 20 15 6 1 here are our coefficients for expansion multipliers so let me begin with writing a plus 2 whole power 6 first so if i am writing a plus 2 whole power 6 i will be writing from here coefficient 1 so it would be the maximum power a power 6 plus 6 a power 5 times 2 plus 15 a power 4 decrement in the first power increment in the second power 2 power 2 then i will be writing 20 a cube then i will write 2 power 3 next term i will write 15 a square 2 power 4 6 let me write here itself 6 a 2 power 5 and last term would be 2 power 6 now if i will write a minus 2 whole power 6 where it is going to impact see alternate odd power of 2 will be negative this term this term and this term now once i am taking subtraction in between then these term only left terms the remaining term will be cancelled out once i am writing a plus 2 whole power 6 minus a minus 2 whole power 6 and right hand side is 512 a cube so what i will write in the lhs let me write here it will be two times in bracket 6 times 2 so it will become 12 a power 5 this term now this term it will be 8 times 20 so i will write 160 a cube and last curly bracket here i will be considering 32 times 6 so 192 
so it is 192a and right hand side is 512a cube let's divide both sides with 2 so equation will become 12a power 5 plus 160a cube plus 192a equal to 256a cube now simplification dividing by 4 so it will become 3a power 5 plus 40a cube plus 48a equal to 64a cube now i will take a common from the lhs and rhs too so let me write here a will be common out in bracket i will be writing 3a power 4 plus 40a square plus 48 and right hand side it is 64a cube now we can cancel or we can take all the term to one side so if i will take one side and considering a overall common then it would be left 3a power 4 plus 40a square plus 48 minus 64a square equal to 0 from here we can conclude two points f dot g equal to 0 so a equal to 0 and second point this bracket will be 0 so i will be writing 3a power 4 40 minus 64 so it will become minus 24a square plus 48 equal to 0 so once a is equal to 0 a was our substitution was a x plus 8 so i will write x plus 8 equal to 0 so from here x is equal to minus 8 which is rejected as per domain so we will reject this now this quadratic equation so it is quadratic in a square but before that we can divide by 3 it is divisible by 3 so a power 4 minus 8a square plus 16 equal to 0 now i will write this as perfect square it is a square minus 4 whole square equal to 0 you can see a square whole square a power 4 plus 16 minus 8a square so from here we will have multiplicity 2 because of this power so i will write a square minus 4 equal to 0 a square is equal to 4 so we can write from here a is equal to plus minus 2 with multiplicity 2 now let's put the value of a a is x plus 8 so let me write here x plus 8 equal to plus minus 2 take away 8 from both sides x is equal to minus 8 plus minus 2 with plus sign it will be minus 8 plus 2 with minus sign it will be minus 8 minus 2 so it is minus 6 and minus 10 and with multiplicity 2 multiplicity 2 so overall answer is minus 6 and minus 10 with multiplicity 2 i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching friends do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck